Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to show you how to add subtitles to your video in DaVinci Resolve 16. Let's check it out. Improve your video and speed up your workflow by using easy to use drag and drop templates made specifically for DaVinci Resolve. Check it out on our website, videoeditorstudio.com. Alright, so we are in DaVinci Resolve right now. I have a video in my timeline and I would like to add subtitles to it. I'm just going to go on the left side here and right click to add a subtitle track. Then I'm just going to position my playhead wherever I want to start the subtitle. So right here and then I'm going to right click again but this time in my timeline to add a subtitle. That's going to open this window in my inspector uh, to make the modification about the text and change the style in track style or in use track style or not. I'm going to show you that in a minute. So right now we're just going to make a quick modification. This is a subtitle and I would like to make some modification about the style. So I'm going to change the font, Montserrat. Then I want it to have the subtitle a little bit bigger. I want it to be aligned center and then if you want to fine tune a bit more about the positioning um, or the opacity you can do that down there in transform and i want it a tiny bit lower right here usually what i like to do uh, i like to add a drop shadow so we're gonna activate the drop shadow opacity 100 and we're gonna put an offset on it right about here so it make the background and the subtitle pop a little bit and there is some definition between there is some contrast, sorry, between um, the footage and the actual subtitle uh, stroke. We're gonna remove it. And then you can also add a background if you want to really make it pop as much as possible. That's uh, probably the way to go. So then you will just adjust the width, the height. You can adjust the corner radius if you want to. If you want to make it round or square, you have all those options right there. For now on, we're just gonna remove it for now. That's pretty much it concerning the style. Then you can just, you know, adjust the subtitles wherever you want, where you want it to start, where you want it to end. There is one thing to know, just to add a new title, you're just gonna put your playhead wherever you want on the timeline and you're gonna add a new one. And you can add another one and all that will be included in the same subtitle sequence, which means that they all gonna keep the same style that you've edited in the track style. If you want for some reason to have one odd title that have a different design, or um, you know, that have like a one background or whatever other option you want, or you want to modify the position, for example, um, instead of doing add a new title from the current sequence, what are you gonna do? you just gonna click on the timeline on the subtitle and there instead of having use track style which is the style that we've just defined you're gonna untick that and here you're free to you know make the changes i as you would like so right now i want another style let's say i want this one i want it smaller i want it aligned and i want the position to be maybe on the side right here for example you can do that, but just untick it, use track style and having one odd titles. Uh, and that's pretty much it. That's how you create your titles. Now for the export, you have multiple options. So if we go to the render page and you go down a little bit, you have subtitle settings, which offer you basically to export it or not. You can just take export subtitles and then you have different format. You can export it as a separate file. So it could be good, let's say for YouTube. Then you can burn it directly in the video if that's something, let's say for social media. As embedded caption, it's mostly like for movies and those kind of things where you can toggle them um, like as you want with your TV or with your uh, VLC player, for example, uh, and you want to switch between different captions like English, French, Spanish, or whatever. Uh, and that's pretty much your three options. You can just pick whatever option you would like. Let's say burn into video, and then you just add to render queue as usual, and you start render, and that's pretty much it. I hope that was useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content about DaVinci Resolve and how to edit, and see you in the next one. Bye. Improve your video and speed up your workflow by using easy to use drag and drop templates made specifically for DaVinci Resolve. Check it out on our website, videoeditorstudio.com.